is also all about evidence. I can prove to you my claim, you know. So why trust is so important if science can prove its claims? Well, you tell me you have evidence and you ask me to believe that you do have the evidence. A scientist is not under normal, under ordinary circumstances, going into the lap of the other and looking over the shoulder. So th the game is being played by assuming a basic level of trust. And of course, where the basic level of trust lies, this can shift. It can be that at some point we become more strict. And, and there can be a point when actually it happens that a scientist goes into the lap of the other to check whether the other scientist actually could see what he or she claimed to have seen. So it can happen. But basic science operates on trust. And also in this case, there, there will be trust because then the other scientist will need to trust the one scientist that goes into the other's lab to, to check over there. So that, that's, that's just a point about you, you can displace where the trust is, but you cannot do without this basic trust. That's where the, the science starts on this shared trust. It needs to do that. So the fact that in elementary school, children are told about dinosaurs and all sorts of stories about how our world came to be on a fideistic basis, they are just told there's no proof, is not a problem for you. It's just how things are. We have fossils, we can go and visit, but you need to trust in the first place. Yeah, because someone shows you fossils. But then you still need to trust that they were found under the earth and not fabricated somewhere else, right? And, and again, you can displace the trust, but at some point you need to trust. All right, so when you contend with a non-believer, for short, we'll call it that, it's a losing game to play this game of show me and the next proof and the next proof. You will hit a wall of trust. Yeah. 